Right, hi guys, welcome back to the Mini Auctionman and welcome back to another F1 collection update video. So I sort of do these about once every year now when something big happens, when I get a big update. And mainly the biggest update this time around now is that I do have the 2020 cars. So that's something to look forward to. I'll show you those towards the end of the video. And I've also, during the past year, managed to get quite a lot of the cars I was missing to complete seasons now. I've got those completed pretty much, although whilst I was... Going through everything and what I was missing and what I wasn't missing, uh, I realised I was missing some cars that I didn't realise I was missing, if that makes sense. So, yeah, we'll go through all of that. So, if you've never seen one of these videos before or anything, I'm going to go through all of my uh, collection. So, if you've already seen those before, then you can sort of go to the end and where I show you the 2020 cars. Uh, but this is the collection update. So as you can see, I've got a bit of an update here as well. Um, I managed to get all my F1 hats and my motorsport hats, touring car hats, etc. on the wall there to make it look a lot nicer. And these are my uh, lanyards from my old motorsport days. So 2015 pit lane ones just fell off there. The Gamma Race Day at Assen. Uh, for a couple of years there, look, they used to do those August every year, so they're quite nice to have. So basically I found them in a cupboard and thought, let's stick them on a wall, let's get it a proper motorsport room. So, as you can see, we've got the Ferraris up there in Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels did them until 2014, and then a company called Luxmac took over from them. So, yeah, these are the ones I've got so far. So, the from 2010 to 2014 here. There is 1071 and 1091 there. I'm not too bothered if I don't get all the Ferraris to complete all the grids. My main uh, collection is Mini Champs. Although, having said that, from 2010 onwards, I do have every grid complete, be it Spark, Mini Champs, Hot Wheels, anyone that makes the entire grid. Because obviously Spark used to do the Batmark teams uh, from 2010 onwards. So, yeah, basically any, any grid fully complete from 2010 onwards, everything 2009 downwards are all complete via the Mini Champs series, but nothing else. So, we've got all of the... Uh, Hot Wheels up there as you can see 2012 they're not really in any particular order I don't think I've just sort of slung them on there Ferraris have loads of different names for their cars as you can see throughout the years rather than just sticking to a number and going with it the Barago one there just because I can um, so this is the only season that Mini Champs actually did every single car of in 1997 there were some done by Onyx some done by Hot Wheels 1998 everyone was done by mini champs so this is the only re the only season that you can get in mini champs that is fully fully complete because you get the ferraris and then they went to hot wheels licensing from 1999 as did the jordans for a brief period they went over to hot wheels as well as did tyrrell um not tyrrell sorry as did stewart so yeah they went over for 99 and then they carried on with jaguar until 2003 so yeah there is really the only 1998 season that you can get all of them in mini champs then we go over to 1999 i won't go too in depth with this because obviously like i said there is other videos on there where i go through really really in depth with each model um i'll stick some icons in the in the top corners etc for those then we come on to 2000 sorry for the glare there that's the sunlight but yeah, as you can see, so we've got Prost, Sauber, we've got obviously BAR there. My favourite Minardi liveries, I absolutely adore those. And uh, Mazzucani was actually one of my first cars I picked up from in Great Yarmouth in a tub full of really early Formula One stuff, so like 98, 99. But at the time, I didn't realise how rare they were. Um, so I just picked up Mazzucani for £5 in a bargain bin. Uh, yeah, if I, if I could go back in time, I'd have literally bought the entire box full because, uh, yeah, there was some rare stuff in there that are rare now anyway. But, yeah, unbelievable. Amazing what I picked up in the early days and now I can't seem to find any more bargains. Then we come to BARs. 2001 Jordans. Love these designs. They're one of my favourite Jordans. The uh, Bitten Heroes. Then through to the end of 2001, Fernando Alonso's first Formula 1 car there, 2001 Prosts, and then on to 2002. Now I believe when I did the update last time I didn't have the 2002 uh, McLarens, so now I do, they're now part of the collection. Uh, the 2002 Williams, as you can see I've got one that's the first half of the season and one that's the second half of the season, so I will get one or the other to make it more even, but they are both the same 
is in the years, but obviously just different sponsorship for different parts of each season. But yeah, those are now complete. 2002, I think I was missing Button. Got him now. And the 2002 Jordans as well. They're very nice. And then that is finishing the 2002. The 2003 grid starts here. So again, I don't think I have the 2003 McLarens. I do now. And then down, down, deeper and down. All the way through. 2003 Jaguars. Absolutely love those. They're very, very nice. Like I said, the 2000, uh, the Jaguars we only had for 2003 and 2004 in Mini Champs. The 2004 Williams, of course, with the uh, walrus nose. I do like that car. And again, I believe I was missing quite a lot of McLarens. So if I didn't have the 04 McLarens, I do now. And then we're going to come up very shortly to the ones that I thought I got and realised I was missing, which is just very daft. But when a collection gets this big... Um, you soon realise that things can get out of control. So you're going to see a gap here. That's as we finish off the 04 Minardis. We've got the start of the 05 BARs. And then here we go. I've just got one 2005 Fissy Keller. I've not got Alonso. And it turned out I was missing both 05s. But the way that the... Uh, as I was stacking up and as I was putting the new models in and making room for things. The way that the 04... Um, the way that the 04 Renault sat and the way that the 06 Renault sat made it look like I got the 05 ones. So, yeah, when I started moving things around, I was like, hang on a minute, I'm missing something. So I do need 2005 Alonso. That is now the only one I'm missing of uh, the co to complete everything 98 to 2020 almost, anyway. Uh, the 05's there, the last year of both of those teams. Sad to see both of those teams go. Absolutely loved Jordan and Minardi. Then we've got, of course, the 06. And 06, I think uh, you seem to remember I was missing Clean. I finally got Clean now. And then all the way through 06. Including the Spikers, of course, when they changed hands, the Midland team, to Spiker halfway through that year. So it's good to get those. And then, of course, we have both of the... So as you can see, we've still got both of the 2006 Super Agoris from when it was the 2002 Arrow chassis still. And then when they finally introduced their new car later on in the season. So a lot of changes in 2006, even though there wasn't really, if that makes sense. But yeah. Then we come to the 07 grid, of course, with the under hearths, which I absolutely adore. A lot of people hate those liveries, but I don't. I think they're really, really smart. The 07 Red Bulls there, which I do like as well. Apologies for the glare. It's the uh, light beaming down. It's brighter than my future. Uh, 07 Spikers, again, a fantastic car. I do like those colours. Shame Spiker wasn't in Formula 1 for longer after uh, taking over. Then we come down to 2008. Again, uh, 2008 is quite a rare grid. Uh, with recession and things, uh, Mini Champs didn't make many models of this year. So things like, you know, the... the uh, Toro Rosso's, they're quite rare. The the Renaults of like, especially Alonso, are quite rare. Under Earths are quite rare of Button and Barrichello. Um, basically, the entire grid is is pretty rare. And Force India is quite rare as well. Their first season and the team that I absolutely fell in love with in the sport, Force India, were my go-to team. They were the team I cheered on all the way through until uh, Spa 2018, of course, when they got took over by Lance Stroll. Then we come to 2009. As you can see again, 2009, quite a quite a decent year. That you know, there's the unique in their looks, shall we say? And it really turned the grid on the head, didn't it? With these updates, hopefully we'll get that in 2022 as well when we have the updates. You know, seeing a lot of teams and drivers on the podium all of a sudden, and an underdog three weeks away from going bankrupt turned up to Australia and got a one-two, unbelievable. Then through to 2010, so we're almost halfway there now. In fact, we're just over halfway. And then there we go. We've got the 2010 Williams, which finally came out 10 years later. It was That was crazy. That I don't understand what the problems and delays were with that. But yeah, they finally came out in 2019, I think they did. So then we come through to the 2011s. All the cars are stacked in championship order of this year. And if the season isn't yet completed, when models start to come out, I'll do it in the current championship order. Uh, but yeah, they're very, very nice models, as you can see. 2012 now. 
like I say, if you want more in depth, more in detailed uh, of each season, then I have got other videos on the channel for those. But uh, yeah, through to 2012. And then round to 2013. Now, that's my favourite um, Red Bull livery with the purple infinity on the side. That They were glorious, those. Really did like those. And then just two random uh, 2018 Sauber show cars I bought quite a while ago for really cheap. And now they're seemingly quite valuable, which is surprising for show cars. But the Leclerc one sold for over £100 on eBay with bids um, a couple of weeks ago. So I thought, yeah, I'll keep hold of those. <laughs> then round to 2014, the twin nose on the Lotus, of course. Very strange design. Didn't work. And then we come through to the years where Force India models are really quite rare now. 2014, 15, 16 and 17 are all seemingly impossible to get without paying a premium price. 2015 now. Again the purple but it's just not as reflective as that 2013 which is what I really liked. Uh, unfortunately the Mini Champs Williams came in a special case. I've never took them out of the case. 2015. And then these are, of course, 2015. I've got a, a lot of these ones. So I've got the standard edition ones. So I've got Button, Australia. Then I've got Alonso, China, because obviously he didn't take part in the first 2015 race of the season due to uh, the testing crash. Then I've got the updated liveries of the Spanish Grand Prix, which are quite rare. And then I've got the 2015 Join the Pact British Grand Prix liveries as well. Uh, those, those two and those two are really, really rare. And then down to the Saubers. The reason why I got those two is because I actually went to the 2015 British Grand Prix. And uh, then they made a British Grand Prix model. So I thought, I'll get those. And uh, yeah, they turned out to be quite valuable. And then there you go, Max Verstappen's first season in Formula 1. Who'd have thought it was 2015, six years ago, since he made his debut in the sport. And again, a couple of pairs of Williams there. In the boxers, 2016 Force India's remain the, mainly unchanged from 2015. And then down there, 2016 Hasses of Grosjean and Gutierrez. Really rare those now. If you have a look at the prices on eBay, absolutely staggering. 2017 Force India's. And then 2016. I've got these quite wrong. This is because I've had the back out the other day and uh, forgot to put them back in the right places. But it's all okay. I'll swap those around. I've only just noticed that myself. And then 2017. Renaults, McLarens. Again, apologies for the glare. When we seem to get next to a door, it seems to go a bit blurry. 2018 now. Hasses again. And then 2018 Force Indias. They never made a racing point version of the Force Indias of 2018 like they did for such as the Spiker in the Midlands in earlier seasons. They just kept it as Force India for that year and that year alone. And then we come up now up to the 2019 season. So when I did the 2019 season update last time, or when I did it last year I should say, I didn't have the 2019 Williams, which of course I do now have at last, which are absolutely fantastic. I really liked the 2019 Williams. Let me know your thoughts and feedback down below whether you liked them, because a lot of people didn't. The 2019 Alphas, which I really, really loved. I enjoyed those. Really deep red on those. Really nice. We, we all know about that joke livery there. And then those are at last the 2019 Williams. And then we come to the models that I've had specifically made for me. So those are the 2004 Monaco uh, Oceans 12 liveries of the Jaguars. So if you remember, Christian Clean crashed with apparently a $250,000 diamond in the nose. And the diamond went missing. It's one of the biggest mysteries of Formula 1, that. Um, but yeah, well, Marshall clearly had it and uh, had a nice payday with it. We've got 2000. And Five, I believe that is, the Chinese Grand Prix 555 liveries of Sato and Button. Then we come to th down to the 2005 Red Bulls of Star Wars liveries with Coulthard and Liotzi. 
And then now it's 2006 Superman liveries as well. So they're the ones I've had specifically made. absolutely love those. You can't get those unless you get them specifically made. There's some great people out there. Uh, F1 diecast conversions, if you're in the UK, does them. And not for a bad price either. The models themselves are quite rare now. Uh, especially the 06 um, Red Bull. So you might be paying more for the model than you would the conversion. But round about these cost me £90 to get done all in. That includes model and the peep a, a person to detail them to, to get them to that level because that is massively skilled to do uh, so yeah around 90 pound for those there might be a little bit more now and then we come to 2020 at last so we've got there the 2020 red bulls 2020 racing points of course 2020 renaults alpha tauri alpha romeo Haas. And then we've got just the one, as mentioned earlier. The Carlos Sainz is me supply if we got to put it in the box. So that will be on that will be on the way. And then the 2020 Williams as well. Still waiting for the 2020 Mercedes cars to come out with the black livery. The testing liveries have come out, but obviously I do race cars. So I'm tempted to maybe get the rocket liveries, because they have released the rocket liveries of the launch car of Williams, obviously before we had the... Covid outbreak and everything kicked off like that, so um, then of course they lost the rocket sponsorship, so I might get those as well, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And then we just finish off there, I've got the 2020 uh, Ferraris in those boxes there, as I have down there as well. All the Ferraris there from each year, from 2015 onwards are down there. And then just to finish off, just a couple of 2018 Force Indias, uh, 2014 Red Bulls. I've got a box full of uh, 2118 scale ones there. When I say a box full, I think there's about another three down there. And uh, that's pretty much everything. So guys, let me know uh, what you think down below. Do you, are you impressed with how the collection's grown since last time? Even I can't remember what the models I've got since last time. But yeah, even I make silly mistakes. The 2005 Alonso is still missing from my collection. But I will get there and I will get it done. Uh, but yeah, be sure to ask any questions as well. A lot of people asked a lot of questions in the last video. And I look forward to answering any question I can. Because of course, you know, people are just starting out the collections. They don't know which seasons to get, what to buy, what's a good price, what's not a good price, etc. So if people have got questions, I will answer them in the comments section. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick update video. And much love.